We go to Jordan, sad news report. Three American service members were killed and many wounded in a drone attack led by Iran-backed militia forces. I'm Jazz Bergonzo on this. It's What's Next. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Jazz Berganza, what's next? Another daily dose for you. Hope you guys are feeling good today on this Tuesday. Of course, as always, facts, common sense, and salt. Well, we're just going to jump right into it. This comes out of Breibart. Dementia. Three Americans killed, many wounded, in drone attack by Iran-backed militia forces in Jordan. Three American service members were killed and many wounded in a drone strike attack in Jordan. Dementia said in a statement on t Sunday he attributed it to attack to Iran-backed militia groups. They were the first three U uh, first U.S. fatalities in months on strikes against American forces in the Middle East by Iran-backed militia forces amid the Israel-Hamas war in Gaza. Increasing the risk of escalation, U.S. officials are still working con um, conclusively to identify the precise group responsible for the attack, but have assessed that one of several Iran-backed groups are responsible. Biden said the United States will hold all those responsible to account at a time and a manner of our choosing. However you want to look at that, I have my suspicions, but it's just me. There was no immediate reaction from Jordan, Iraq, Israel, and Palestinian territory of the West Bank, Saudi Arabia, and Syria. U.S. troops have long used Jordan as a basing point and the attack took place northeast of Jordan near the Syrian border. U.S. Central Command said 25 service members were also injured in the attack, in addition to the three killed. Some 3,000 American troops typically are stationed in Jordan. Jordanian state television quoted Mohammed uh, uh, Mouadin, the government spokesman, and insisted that an attack happened outside the kingdom across the border of Syria. The conflict information could not be immediately reconciled. Since Israel's war on Hamas and the Gaza Strip began, U.S. troops in Israel, um, in Iraq, Syria have faced drone and missile attacks on their bases. The attack on Jordan marks the first targeted American troops in Jordan during the war. Biden, who was in Columbia, South Carolina on Sunday, was briefed by Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, National Secretary Advisor Jake Sullivan, and Principal Duty National Advisor uh, John Finer, White House Press Secretary, of course, Jean-Luc Picard, said... Syria is still in the midst of a civil war and long has been a launch path for Iran-backed forces there, including the Lebanese militia Hezbollah. Iraq and multiple Iran-backed Shiite militias operated there as well. Jordan, the staunch Western ally and crucial power in Jerusalem, is oversight of the holy sites there. It's suspected of launching airstrikes in Syria to disrupt drug smugglers, including one that killed nine people earlier this month. We go from that to this. Three soldiers from Georgia identified as troops killed in Jordan. The Pentagon announced the identities of the three service members who were killed in Jordan. The service members were soldiers from Jordan. Deceased were Sergeant William Jerome Rivers, 46, of Carrollton, Georgia. Specialist Kennedy Lander, uh, Ladon Sanders, 24, of Waycross. And Specialist Brianna um, Alexandria Moffitt, 23, of Savannah. They died after a drone attack hit their housing unit, known as Container Housing Unit, or CHU. The three soldiers were assigned to the 718th, uh, 718th Engineer Company, 926th Engineer Battalion, and the 926th Engineer Brigade in Fort Moore, Georgia. My thoughts. This one I just wanted to jump into, you know, no opening monologue as I like to do. Um, one, to the families. Of all three, um, you know, thoughts, prayers, condolences. Uh, this is extremely tragic situation. Um, just like any, whether you're police, fire, um, emergency services, and of course our military. Um, our military has been mocked um, since uh, Joe Dementia came in the office. But when something like this happens, there needs to be unity. There needs to be, there needs to be a unify between. All groups, whether you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, doesn't matter. Political stripes go out the window when something like this tragically happens. Now, what to do about it? Well, we'll pick a manner and a time, okay? What is this? What, what manner and time are you waiting for? 
to make sure you get all the information. I understand it. You're, you're still doing an investigation to see who exactly led this attack. If it was Iran, if it was Hezbollah, if it was, you know, the, the Hamas forces, you know, got to find out who. Now, from what I hear is that the drones itself uh, were Iran made and some were even sold to Russia. Take that however you want it. But we're going to see what kind of president dementia is. Because as we've seen in the past, especially <clears throat> Ukraine, a proxy war to the tune of $150 billion of U.S. taxpayer money, yours and mine, going to this nonsense. And yet, what have we heard since in the last six months? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Outside, of course, you know, President Sweatpants running around saying, I need more monies. But in regards to this, now you got to put your money where your mouth is, dementia. We're going to see what you're going to do about it. Because I believe, and others have said in the last 24 hours, that Iran is looking to escalate this thing into a bigger, much broader situation. And that could be very, very dire, especially to uh, allied forces and, of course, the U.S. itself, if it's brought into a bigger, you know, a bigger, more dangerous situation, because that's exactly what Iran wants. And that can't be good for anyone. And of course, there'll be more said about this. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Braganzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue to spread the word about the show. Help it continue to grow. And we'll see you next time. Peace.